Hey guys, welcome back. The officially unofficial X Rebirth Let's Play episode 19. I'm Enigmius and we gotta go. We gotta get through this gate. We've got a Plutarch destroyer off in the distance and we've got one behind us and a carrier as well. I don't know if they're after us yet, but I know if we sit around jibber jabbering for too long, they will be. So we're gonna hop through the gate and then we're gonna talk about what's going on. Oh, Borman, you dumb babby. So, after our little chat with Nakano, I wanted to try and get our station building a little bit further along, so I exited the station, and all of a sudden I was in a dialogue with Yisha talking about... Uh, maybe this being the start of a new federation with the Heart of Albion getting together with the Republic of Cantera, and that was all neat and good, but we would have to go and talk to Borman and kind of coordinate some stuff, so that's what we're doing, and <laughs> while we're here, we need to capture some more freighters. If you can believe it, we still need some materials that we didn't, uh, we didn't have covered with this small fleet of freighters we've already captured. So we're going to go talk to Borman. We're going to see what he has to say. Um, we'll do what we can to progress the campaign. And then before we head back through to DeVries, we're going to pick up a couple of freighters and try and finish off at least the first stage of the station. I don't know exactly uh, what all this is going to entail in terms of stages, but you get the idea. We, we're, we've got lots of reason to be in Albion and none of them are going to make Plutarch happy. We didn't have to go far, at least. This is Borman's huge frickin' destroyer that we, we never see him actually using. <laughs> He's just sitting around giving orders. to your mining ship crews. I just wish we could have saved everyone else. Hopefully their sacrifice will mean something. The situation is changing here, too. We've had many Plutarch defectors come over to our cause. Hell, we even had a Plutarch cap ship join our fleet. The Plutarch attack on a lightly armed mining convoy hasn't helped their cause whatsoever. The people here are sympathetic to the Canterans? Do they know they're Terran? The real information is out there. But so are rumors and speculation. Some of our supporters already think they're arming us with Terran tech to defeat Plutarch. We'll set the facts straight soon enough. Governor Nakano has agreed to take in refugees, but he needs a significant force to repel Plutarch for the time being. He'll have it. Half of our forces. You'll commit that much? If DeVries will become our last bastion, we'll damn well defend it. Also, if the Cantarans are to become allies, we'll damn well defend them too. It will stretch our forces, but with Plutarch slowly losing control, it's just a matter of blasting them out. So, what's next? How do we get all those ships through the gate? A distraction. A big one. Plutarch has some big project happening at the Barrel Astrotech Labs. We don't know if it's a new weapon or a ship under construction. All we know is... Scientists have gone missing. Others have escaped and gone into hiding. Do you know where any of them are? Can we get these out? One 
the Sabrina to meet us. I want you and Yisha to speak to her. Find out what they're doing at Barrow Labs, and what we can do to stop it with minimal casualties on both sides. We'll get it done. Good. When you do, prepare yourselves for the attack. If the intel is good, the attack will commence soon after. That's when our ships will begin to move to DeVries. Forming out. Station command for may have higher consequences. What do you think Plutarch and Beryl could be working on? Beryl's had a history of turning tides of war with their tech. The attack on the Earth Taurus couldn't have happened without them. It can't be anything on that scale. Maybe they're mass-producing drones. They've been pumping out drones since the war started. That's no secret. If it's enough to cause Beryl scientists to leave, it can't be good. So that uh, that has me a little bit concerned. I don't know if we're going to have time to uh, do everything here and then grab our freighters and then leave. I'm kind of thinking we, we have to grab them now, which is kind of our specialty. So let's, uh, let's go find some freighters with the goodies that we need. And then we can uh, continue on with the campaign. Let's find an appropriate hunting ground. Uh, distant fume, no. What do we got here? Metalworks, no. No, we were just there. URV arms tech, fab. Maybe it's friendly, but there may be Plutarch ships there picking up. So that's, that's a candidate. Oops. Smokestack. Uh, still the unknown. I'm trying to see if that... Yeah, I think that's food, actually, that one. And it's friendly, so probably won't get too much goodies from there. Uh, what about this one? Cell fab matrix, metalworks yard, no... Even temper, no, 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 no. Rexville. As I recall, Rexville seemed to be a decent place to find stuff, and it's also got a jump beacon there as well. So we'll make that our first stop. We're heading to Rexville, and uh, we'll see what we can find there. And we'll, we'll just keep on keeping on until we get what we need get it safely back to DeVries and then carry on with the plot. Entering Rexville. I don't think it's this zone where sometimes you come in and it's just like a stack of freighters yeah look at this <laughs> it's like they're waiting for us to find just the right one intermediates we don't want intermediates this has got the jump gate and the gas station all right here all right now they're jostling for po position to get their fuel and go now there's this way of doing it where you're just basically manually going around high-tech freighter. It's a friendly though. It's a oh, it's barrel. <laughs> These same crazy cats were supposed to be investigating. Uh, I'm I'm thinking well, that's probably a good idea to leave for now. Oh, I saw red. What is it? Intermediates. Energy, energy. See the quick and easy way to find out if there's any prey in a, in a zone is to just bring up the, the zone map. See right here, we've got a PMC high-tech freighter. Uh, that is... Dang, nabbit. So I'm facing north, basically. PMC high-tech is east-southeast. On the other side of the highway. There's the highway. Did I already pass it? 
I think I saw a red high-tech freighter. Here we go, 114 out of 120,000 units. And it's a good distance away, which means I'm less likely to get in trouble with fighters. What's this guy? Oh, <laughs> there's a freaking destroyer right there. Sometimes you just can't win for trying. But we're going to try anyways. Now this time around, I made a point of writing down exactly what I need. So I'm not just capturing freighters willy-nilly. What do you got? Don't need any of that. So I guess it's it's actually hull tech that I need. Dag nabbit. And there weren't any hull tech here. Let's do a quick double check. High tech, fighter squadron, intermediates, yeah, warden destroyer. Those destroyers are just mean. Okay, so we didn't actually want to be here yet, but in our search for the appropriate kinds of freighters, this is where we ended up, so uh, we might as well be here. But before we proceed to the uh, very strangely located guide marker, let's just see if there's anything here that we want first. Uh, energy... Weapon trader, no. You can't really capture those guys. The best I think you can do is blow them up and pick up their loot. Or maybe, like, hack them and get them jettison it, but... One way or the other, they don't have what we're looking for. No one here. I bet they'll just set up an encrypted transmission. These guys can hide pretty well when they want to. We can also listen when we want to. What the tunneling scan signal. It's in our systems. Calm down. Disengaging the scanner. I just wanted to know who you were. There we are. So you're here to glean information from me? Who are you? Leah Kaswin, lead researcher at Beryl Astrotech. I'm Ren. This is Yisha. We need to know what Plutarch is planning with Beryl. The planning phase was over long ago. The Plutarch CEO put in place a contingency plan for use on any major loss of control. With the uprising and defections, Plutarch felt it was time to act. What exactly is going on? Mass production of unmanned ships. Pretty smart ones, too. They use them to replace the pilots they're losing. That's it? Plutarch's already got thousands of drones. They may not be the smartest thing in the world, but they do their job. Some of these will be capable war machines, fighters, and bombers. They can pack a hell of a punch. The last thing you want is a fleet of relentless robotic ships after you. So the question is, why did you leave? Isn't robotic warfare your specialty? Plutarch was getting reckless. They kept trying to make these things more effective and accused us of holding back. We were. We didn't want to incorporate more Xenon tech. You have Xenon tech? We did. Leftovers from our research during the Terran conflict. All our drones have some Xenon tech in them, but not enough to risk a resurgent of machine intelligence. Plutarch was indeed willing to risk just that to make them more effective. We destroyed everything we could get our hands on. So, if there's no risk anymore, what's left to do? We have to be sure there is no trace, so we must destroy the labs. Taking out production facilities will be a secondary concern. You won't be able to stop Plutarch building more somewhere else. I'll forward all of this to Borman. Once we get the all clear, we go. I won't be taking part. I will be following your progress, however. Kaz went out. Isn't that sweet? Getting Borman on the calm. This is Borman. What Kazwin told you matches intel we got from another barrel contact. We're set to strike. We'll attack the station first. Once the Plutarch forces jump in, the refugees will begin to move through the gate. That's when we split forces. You take half of the ships to the gate to defend the refugee ships. I'll take the other half to keep Plutarch busy before backing you up. Got it. Where do we meet for the attack? I'll send coordinates. You fly there, and we'll meet you there shortly. Uh, Falk, these coordinates... Yeah, that's right. See you there. Uh, 
Encyclopedia Entry, Xenon Technology. Initially terraformers from Earth, these machines converted worlds for human habitation. Their artificial general intelligence proved dangerous and led to the relentless Xenon race. Continued use of AGI has caused controversies and conflicts between the community of planets and the Earth government. Use of Xenon technology today is considered highly dangerous and outlawed by most governments. So that's, uh, I, I kind of saw that coming, I have to say, the way everything was going, especially the small talk uh, thing about Plutarch using Xenon tech. Uh, but, I mean, it is what it is. Blowing up Xenon uh, can be kind of fun and often challenging as well. So that's that's what we're going to do. I, I really want to shoot these Plutarch guys. And I kind of feel like I might as well because uh, once we're done here, we're done here. And... Uh, Don't even start like it was my fault. Oh. I'm no criminal. Okay, so I am, but not as bad as you make it sound. And we're, we're getting our loot here. So we'll do the quick... Well, we already did the location scan. God damn it. I don't know if we're going to be able to get these freighters. Uh, Sinister Poem Crossroads. Let's head there. That sounds like fun. If for no other reason than to uh, be somewhere else. They want us to go through the superhighway. And as long as we don't go through the superhighway, the mission won't progress. Which is kind of key until we get those damn freighters. One more quick check. Just in case one jumped in while we were dorking around. Energy, energy, intermediates, mining, mining, weapon, weapon. Could be interesting. It is... Uh, where are we? Okay, so we need to go... Turn around. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, weapon freighter over here somewhere... See, there it is. So we're looking for a weapon freighter that has one V Crusher launcher. Oh, shit. What are you? Please, not a carrier. <laughs> that looks like a carrier. Kinda. I don't mind if it's a friendly carrier. It's when it's the kind of carrier that shoots at me and launches lots of drones at me uh, that I get a little bit uh, unhappy. But it doesn't look to be the case, so we're going to get close enough to this guy to find out what he's carrying. And if he's got the goods, uh, he's going to be our property real soon. 